welcome my Sagittarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon in April to full moon in May 2023? I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short. I am a professional witch. I'm a professional intuitive. I am the president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998, May 1st, Beltane. We turned 25 years old. We'll talk about it at the end of the video. I am also the author of Words of Grace from a professional witch. There is a Kindle version of it available. There is a link in the description box and you can see some of the prayers, principles, and practices that have kept me in business even before I started uh, drawing the circle. Yeah, so that's the Kindle version, but the original version is uh, sort of like a Fellini movie. Look it up and you can find that over on Patreon. Some of my subscribers on patreon.com slash drawing the circle production have access uh, to the original uh, ebook version that I did myself with uh, Jill Schweitzer, my editor. Uh, I love Patreon. Uh, we, at the moment, have eight different levels of subscriber. Seeker, Human Hero, Angel Witch, Immortal Mystic, God Goddess is the top tier. They get everything because they're gods and goddesses. <laughs> uh, but all of my subscribers get all the extended reads that I have done, past, present, and into the future, regardless of their level of subscription. They also get me a free morning. Uh, in what we call a daily check-in, an unlisted YouTube live stream link so they can chat with me about the astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always ending with a little prayer, a little blessing, a little something, something to send us on our way, and it's my favorite way to start the day. And I love Patreon so much, I highly recommend it to uh, my creative friends out there, uh, Mutable Fire, Sagittarius, usually there's a lot of creativity in there. Um, so if you want a deeper dive, more magic, more miracles, more mysticism, more melon, we're really having a lot of fun over there doing like Zoom recorded workshops and stuff just for them, real exclusive stuff. Anyway, the link's in the description box. Click the link, check out the menu, and if you like, come play Patreon on Patreon, because I'm a hoot. <laughs> and I'm the Archangel of Lions. Mark Angelo of Lions with Saggies, just call me now. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, my beloved archers. It's five card draw time, my favorite series, and uh, really Sagittarius, one of my favorite signs. You guys are a lot of fun. Uh, so uh, let's uh, get the explanation out of the way so we can get to the divination because we might have some new people and that's only the right thing to do. So if you are new to the channel, a five card draw is just one card from five different decks, any clues, tips, and hints about really anything. But in this case, a two week period, a waxing uh, moon read from a new to full uh, April into May, as I said previously. But before we look at the astrology, so I'm looking over here, I have a clipboard with the notes as needed here. Uh, these five decks represent fire, earth, air, water, and spirit, the five magical elements to help you align, fine-tune, clarify your element of fire, believe it or not, to start with at least what you yearn for, what you burn for, what your heart's desire, indicating the seed of intention, if you like, to plant at the new uh, and manifest it to full with earth to ground it, air to, to stoke it, water to juice it up, and uh, a spirit mantra uh, at the end to bring it all together. Uh, let's look briefly, although <laughs> this is a tricky two-week period, because we have an eclipse to an eclipse new to full. Uh, the new moon on 420, have fun with that, Saggies. Uh, it is an eclipse uh, on a Thursday, uh, April 20th. It goes void, of course, the same moment it eclipses at 12.13 a.m. Eastern. I am in New York. We'll go into Taurus 12.30 a.m. Now, if you're asleep, no biggie. You could certainly wake up uh, uh, on that day, and I will say, because it's Thursday, the day of Jupiter, day of expansion, day of abundance, really, really, really great day, and Taurus, new moon, second house dynamic, life values, durable goods, wealth, money, abundance, all of that stuff, it just works. It's a good day. I know what I'm doing, pretty much. We'll see when we get there, though. Uh, and then we've got the two weeks following, waxing, building, expanding, manifesting, whatever you want to call it, full moon in Scorpio, your opposite, uh, uh, no, no, the, the opposite sign, not your opposite sign. Uh, also an eclipse, as I said, 1.34 p.m. Eastern on Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. 
However, it's on a Friday. A, a full moon in Scorpio on a Friday? Someone's getting their stuff touched. I'm sorry, someone somewhere is getting their stuff touched in a good way. Oh, let's hope. <laughs> So, yeah, day of Venus, Scorpio moon, woof. So, uh, in between those two days, uh, these, are, these are really important. 421, day after, right? Day after the new moon and all the eclipse, Mercury goes retrograde in what? Aries. Now, that trines at some point Sagittarius, so it might work for you in a good way. Uh, the trickier one, though, seriously, is on May 1st, Beltane, drawing the Circle Productions, 25th anniversary, uh, Pluto's going retrograde in Aquarius. So looking forward to doing that Aquarius read later. Uh, so, you know, a very transformative time, very, very interesting waxing with those uh, retrogrades there. So look, it's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs. You might have four different seeds, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, you might get more information. They can. It's happened to me. I write down... Uh, I... I I do the magic. I actually line it up in all of my signs. I write them down and, you know, the mantras and the spells and all of that. Um, because here's the tea. Your heart's desire, your element of fire is part of what you came into this life to do. That's why it's written in your heart, right? I think they're assigned to us, right? Some of these, I'm like, why did I choose this? This is a heart's desire. This sucks. Because it's a journey, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's what pulls us forward on the path. So, uh, cross watchers, you have the opportunity here to get some insight, some understanding, uh, some sympathy, and some empathy for the Sagittarian you are cross watching for. But maybe you work the mantra for you, and on their behalf, you will definitely heal and wax something, build something uh, over the two week period. But you will also be doing that for the entire Sagittarius collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So, you know, unity, spirituality, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, I guess that's about it, I think. So both feet on the floor if you can, and focus on your breath if you will. And I will do the best that I can to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace. So you can manifest your heart's desire and make this world a better place. The more of us that are doing that, even moving forward, there's more hope for humanity. Because paradise planet Earth is easy without people. It's with people in the population that's tricky. <laughs> and that is appears to be the mission, at least the way I see it. So the shift from all that explanation that we have to do will Welcome, new people. Buckle up. Uh, to the divination I was sent into this world and born to do. That happens in the still point. Let's see if we can find it. Please take a nice deep breath. Let's have fun. If we can. Still point. Ooh, tingle, tingle, tingle. Here we go. Using the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish for the Element of Fire. I call to the ancestors of magic miracles and mysticism for the Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video, who are drawn to this reading, please, beloved ones, uh, what is the spell fragment uh, for the Sagittarian and the Cross Watchers to help them refine, define, clarify their very element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, the intention, the seed to plant this beautiful new to full justice. Justice by the power of three by three. Ma'at delivered justice to me. Ooh, we brought in an Egyptian goddess. And not just any Egyptian goddess, uh, a Catholic and underworld goddess uh, of this has the scales. When you die, she takes your heart, she weighs it against a feather. You know, depending on the translation of the Egyptian Book of the Dead. If it balances, you get to move on to the next world. How lovely. Right? Yay. Ding, 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 ding. If it's heavier than the feather, one version says, um, your soul gets eaten by a demon. Bummer. Uh, obviously hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Reincarnation, considerably, one would think. Um, but the other is, is that you just have to reincarnate, which is, I think, probably what more happens, considering the soul is immortal. <laughs> so, justice. Now, Ma'at, certainly, if you're not comfortable with, you know, doing a spell, to Ma'at, fill that in. That's what, you could definitely fill in the blank there. I mean, personally, I would go for Themis, the goddess, Greek goddess, of Themyscira, right? Justice. Um, 
you know, or Athena, although she could be a little quick and deadly too. Uh, so by the power of three by three, I mean, it's almost straight out of Charmed, uh, Ma'at, deliver justice to me. Now, I will be saying Ma'at when we do the summation at the end, so buckle up. Oof. So justice, I mean, think about that. You creating justice in your own energy field, in your own life, waxing justice. So look, your heart's desire may very well be for justice, but it could also be what is required to manifest your heart's desire. So let's ground that a bit with the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. If you have the stone indicated, I highly recommend using it as an amulet, a talisman, a touchstone, a memory stone, just to remind you that you have something in play, right? For the two week period. I always use a piece of jewelry because <laughs> I got plenty. <laughs> they all have very powerful uh, spells in them to begin with. So uh, uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to call in my Archangel, Archangel Ariel, for the element of Earth. And really, what's more important is the message. Uh, and if you don't have the stone, Clear Quartz does anything and everything. <laughs> it's an easy stone. Please take a nice deep breath. As a Virgo, I can relate. <sighs> Still point. <laughs> if I can make the archangels laugh, it's a good day. As I call to my beloved archangel Ariel, one of the archangels of the north, powers of earth, hence the crystal oracle, beloved archangel of lions, archangel of nature, archangel of uh, wealth, please, one card in clarity for the element of earth, the fuel to feed the fire, to help ground and manifest the heart's desire that either is or does require justice for the Sagittarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Tides, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video, we're drawn to this uh, reading. What is your guidance, your grace, your oracle message to help them manifest their heart's desire, this beautiful, new to full? <gasps> Selenite! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> God, Selenite. All of my decks are on <laughs> Selenite slabs, except for the Whispers of Love Oracle, which is on Rose Quartz, because, honey, I've been doing witchcraft for a long time. <laughs> so, Selenite, uh, named after the Titan goddess, Selene, a go uh, Titan of the Moon, goddess of the Moon. I love Selenite. I do. It's Selenite and Citrine are the only two. Mi I don't know as far as I as far as I know the only two minerals, uh, crystals, what have you, uh, that do not need purifying because they are purifiers. Put them around anything, and they will uh, align aligns all the chakras. All sorts of cool shit goes down. With selenite. Hello, my name is Mark, and I am a Selenite addict. Hello, Mark. All right. Let's, uh, let me read you what Mr. Salerno has to say. Ready? Get, oh, this is right up your alley. Selenite, telepathy, soul connection, peace, and tranquility. It's a little bit of a superpower thing going on there. It is possible for you to connect with others energetically on a soul level and infuse them with love and healing. Yeah, it's called unity, but accessing that and is a different experience, right? This telepathic communication uh, this is telepathic communication in its highest form. Through the formless light of love, it is possible to both send and receive information, provided the information is sought and sent with love. In other words, you can't be like, nah, nah, it doesn't work. Believe me, I've tried. Yeah, no, that there's a different pathway for that, but that's you don't want to do that. Unless you do. Uh, especially if you want justice in a situation that's a little too easy to do. Remember that on a soul level, time and space do not really exist because all is interconnected and ultimately one. See, that's why even the idea of, oh, we're all connected is still seen through the lens of the illusion of separation. There's only one of us. Sorry, E equals MC squared, whatever. The peace and tranquility you see can be found by connecting to that ultimate oneness. Go within from doing so. You will realize that all is eternal. Nothing is ever lost. And that all is eternally present. Now think about grounding that, right? It's the element of earth. So this justice thing to do with telepathy, peace and tranquility, so that you come in to that balance necessary. How's your heart? <laughs> right? Like, where is it? Go get a feather. I mean, literally, that'll never work. It's gonna be a fucking heavy feather, right? Okay, uh, so uh, I love that. Telepathy, so, you know, to send some messages, some third-eye text messages. I do mine in full-blown color. <laughs> like a movie. 
Oh, I guess that's an MP4 then, isn't it? Uh, let's get the element of air. Fire needs air, right? This is the element of the mind. And since you got telepathy going on there, obviously your element f of water uh, for emotion is going to be key in this reading as well. Selenite is definitely a moon, lunar stone. So we're going to use the Archangel Fire Oracle for the element of air because they got wings and everybody has access to Archangel's my archangelic lineage is Archangel Ariel. A-R-I-E-L means the lion or the lioness of God. So my parents named me the Archangel Alliance. Not everybody has it in their name, uh, but, uh, you know, part of the journey. And really, maybe you got Archangel Michael, definitely an Archangel of Justice. Let's see. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call to the beloved pantheons of archangels for the Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers, watching this video who are drawn to this reading, please, beloved ones, who is the archangel waiting in the wings with their wings, ready to fly in and help uh, manifest their heart's desire with the power of air, particularly through the mind, through thoughts. Uh, particularly with that telepathy there and justice, like seeing things from that all is here now, like all we need is now. It's a Duran Duran song. All you need is now. It's a really good song too. So please, who is the archangel ready to swoop in because they only come when we call you? <laughs> uh, politely, usually through prayer, help uh, this beautiful, beautiful. Ah, now I wrote down the pronunciation of this archangel's name and it's not in the book, so please forgive me if I um, mispronounce this. It's S-O-Q-E-D-H-O-Z-I, Hosey. I know his last name. I think it's Suquid Hosey. I think. Please don't cancel me. Now, a very interesting card there. Uh, definitely a binary uh, vibe going on there, and certainly a P.T. Barnum uh, sort of thing uh, we think going on there. I don't know, I was feeling very Sagittarius, though, I will say. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Alexander Wenman, um, <laughs> Finhorn Press, we need the pronunciation in the book. Uh, so, okay. So quid hosey, we're going with it. Balance. Justice. Holy crap. Uh, this, uh, the archangel known as the keeper of the divine balances. So quid hosey is the angel associated with intimate partnerships and is shown here as half man, half woman, a uh, Russian circus performer. He or she helps us maintain our individuality while acknowledging the interconnectedness of all things, keeping a flow of loving energy where each person uh, positively affects and supports the energy of the other. I'm going to keep going. This this feels right. Uh, Sokut Hosey can help you to recognize and heal imbalanced partnerships uh, where you may feel you are being drained uh, while all we need to lean uh, while we all need to lean on loved ones from time to time, it's unhealthy for a relationship to be built entirely on one person's needs and another's attempt to fulfill those needs. A true soulmate relationship is uplifting, supportive, fair, and loving. If conflict or dysfunction occurs, you should uh, it should lead to growth and understanding, not create further conflict and misunderstanding. This angel holds the balance between feeling and truth and promotes the trust and cooperation. So the heart chakra of feeling, the Divine Mother, and the um, the third eye of truth, the Divine Father and the child, the balance, the choice, the, the throat chakra. Let's read the message. Human beings have an innate need to interact with others. I will help bring balance to your love life and relationships, and above all, have a good relationship with yourself. I've had a number of flings with Sagittarius over the decades, and most likely lifetimes are the most fun. Well, now I'm Mars conjunct Leo rising, so it's a lovely trine. Well, who was expecting that? Now look, this is really talking about a one-on-one -on -one relationship, or maybe different one-on-one -on -one relationships, because I do know you, Sagittarius, pretty well. 
The Ethical Slut. It's a really good book. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, uh, your element of fire here for justice, right? By the power of three by three, Ma'a, deliver justice to me. This is justice in a one-on-one, -on -one, bomb chicka wow wow past, present, or future. But to send those messages with telepathy, with love, with that vibrational healing... I think you won the jackpot, but we ain't done. We have two more cards. Oh boy. The Element of Water. The Whispers of Love Oracle by Angela Hartfield, consecrated to uh, the higher self collective. So the higher selves of all involves, and not just you, but uh, whoever's on the other side of this and cross watchers, you shut up for the right raid. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Tell your friends. <sighs> <laughs> Still point. Mm. Oh, that feels very soothing. As I call to the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, beloved ones, what is the whisper of love? The piece of information, inspiration, insight needed by the Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving this reading, the element of water, which is emotion, and certainly the love that is divine power, the sacred truth of the heart chakra, since we got kind of the third eye and the, the, the heart balancing here, please, what is your guidance, your grace, your love, your wisdom, your oracle message to help them manifest their heart's desire that either is or does require justice with that selenite telepathy and vibrational healing and soul connections and just lovely. With Sokud Hosey called in, we will rehearse the correct pronunciation if that's not it, for the element of air to bring them into balance in an intimate, it's said, call it right out, your love life, their love life. So please, what is the whisper of love, fifth dimension above, eighth chakra above, for the Sagittarius Collective to manifest their heart's desire, water, earth, air, and fire? this beautiful nudiful back to what you love your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want and there's your free will there is your free will now I'm just gonna tell you I've done this kind of work before oh yeah I live alone except with three male black cats my my sons I love them uh, but yeah no I have gone through uh, quite the list vibrationally forgiving releasing letting go from my own sanity yeah, there's still some there what in uh, the disappearance of the universe by Gary Renard it's a book about the course of miracles says called the slow burn forgiveness lesson but that's more waning moon this is waxing. This is like you're getting the opportunity. I think you guys are going to get a, a chance to balance a relationship and, and for justice to be brought to you. Now, in terms of physical action, I'm not seeing a lot of physical action in here. Um, particularly with selenites, very internal yin kind of goddess vibe stone. Definitely a goddess vibe stone. So to, I would definitely S O Q E D Hosey H O Z. I I would look it up. I, I would look it up. I would definitely. Uh, well, element of air. You're Sagittarians or cross watchers, right? Go look it up. Google it, right? F get some info. That's where I found right pronunciation. I just forgot it because I'm gonna be 55. <laughs> September, yeah, I know, I'm looking at things. <laughs> Back to what you love, though, there you go. To really evaluate what you want in this situation. I know you want justice, but how do you want it? What's your heart say? And is it in balance with your mind? Well, call on the Archangel. Last card down. To help you heal this, to move it along. A Matcon healing mantra. Now, here's what I do. I, I, I write down, you know, the spell. I do the spell, but then I keep track of the mantra, and I do it with, and in this case, would be selenite. Uh, so you don't have to redo the whole thing over and over and over again. That's just a little witch tip. This is a spell kit read for those who want to take it that way. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call to the Ascended Masters of the General Assembly, please, beloved ones, one card in clarity. What is the spirit mantra for the Sagittarius Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video who were drawn to this reading to charge, to unite, to unify, to empower uh, their element 
of fire that either is or does require justice, grounding it into a physical reality via telepathy and soul connection and vibrational healing and someone is just lovely. Calling in the balance and the grace of so could hosey. Sequid sweet hosey? I think it might more be E than than O, I think. Uh, uh, for the element of air that really look that up. That feels very, very deep and very, very rich and very, very powerful to call in that archangel so that they have the opportunity to get back to what they love in their element of water. Uh, to make the wisest, most loving, most empowered, just decisions all around. What do you got from an element of spirit to manifest their heart's desire with water and earth and air and fire? This beautiful, beautiful April into May 2023. Uncovering confidence. I am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe. And that is true of everyone. If you think it's just you, that makes you special. But special means separate, says A Course in Miracles. And they're right. Holy. H-O-L-Y. Which is what allows you <laughs> to do this, right? So it's not like you have no influence here in this relationship. In fact, this is an opportunity for you to get back to what you love. Now, this could be getting back with somebody where there was some tricky shit that went on, some shady shit in the past, right? And this definitely feels romantic sexual, even though there's not a card just stamped with it, right? Uh, it does feel like it's here. Um, so, let me read you from the bookie book. I've used this mantra a lot because you are the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe. And it's not finding unconfidence or creating unconfidence. It's uncovering it, which means it's already in you. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh, no, I don't need it for this one. Right. Uncovering confidence. Already breathe this in. I am the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe. I love saying it that way. <laughs> when confidence is uncovered, you are living from a space of renewed purpose or porpoise, whatever you're into. Uh, you know your place in the cosmos and you are an expression of eternal light. We all are. Keep that in mind, please. There is no wavering on decisions, and there's no crying in baseball. There is no wavering on decision or second-guessing your instincts. Confidence allows you the peace of mind to stand tall in your truth and to move forward courageously, knowing anything that comes your way can only inspire the gift of endless expansion. Expansion, Jupiter, Sagittarius, and for justice with Ma'at. It feels like this is almost a done deal. You just got to kind of bring this together. This mantra is ideal for resolving insecurities, easing personal concerns, and finding true safety in your body and in the world. Certainly a sense of justice and balance does that. Look, balance is really key, but the thing about balance, the law of universal balance, as soon as, in this world, as soon as balance is created, imbalance happens. It's the opposite, right? So that's what makes it a journey. That's why every time you take a step forward, you're off balance for a second, and then you're not. And then you're off balance for a second, and then you're not. It's just the way forward. But the internal stuff here is undeniable. So let's do a blessimation, a blessing and a summation. At the end of that, the reading's over, but I'm going to talk about 25 years of drawing the circle productions. There are changes being made. I'd like to let you know about them. Please take a nice deep breath. It's a nice reading. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for our beloved Sagittarian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs and cross watchers out there watching this video and receiving this reading, may they be blessed with love they need to manifest their heart's desire by uncovering confidence because they are the missing piece that completes the puzzle of the universe and that can get back to what they love, right? It could be anything, certainly, for that element of water for them. Getting, they're getting a chance to reevaluate, maybe embrace, and uh, do some healing and some uh, reuniting with balance. 
calling in the Archangel of Balance. Sequid Hosey, I think that's the name, right? They just do their research. They'll get some clues, tips, and hints there for sure. And certainly if they can get a piece of selenite, a moonstone, a clear quartz, whatever, to do that telepathy, that vibrational healing, maybe even some reconciliation. And as long as it's really with the best of intentions for love, it's all good so that they can create the justice within themselves that they seek in the world. So, get ready. Fill in the blank as you like. By the power of three by three, may Ma'a deliver her justice to thee for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So let it be done. So it is. Hey, if you liked it, like it, hit the thumbs up. Want more? Subscribe, comment, feel like it, do it. Notification bell, please do. All that stuff shifts the algorithm so more people will find this very video. And honestly, you guys kind of hit the jackpot with that particular archangel in this read in terms of romantic relationships. Uh, but we don't have no algorithms on Patreon, no. Uh, you sign up for a level of subscription on my platform, you get every piece of content that's on there since the moment I started Patreon till I retire, croak, or both, because I love it. Do click the link if you would. Check out the menu and come Patreon on Patreon if you feel so drawn. We're having a field day and I think you'd love it. But 25 years ago, I started my company drawing the Circle Productions in S Corporation when LLCs did not exist. And I started charging $100 an hour for private sessions, hands-on healing, reading, spiritual counseling, all of that. Well, 25 years later, it's time to shift those prices. Uh, I'm not saying just what yet, but May 1st, my prices will change. Uh, because if I went over the hour, it was on me. If they wanted to tip me, that it was on them. Enough of that. We're covering all of that. So if you book me for a reading before May 1st, even if it's after, for after May 1st, I will honor the $100 an hour and we'll figure it out as we go. But there is a link in the description box booking a reading with Mal the old one, the new one will be made. Uh, they'll explain how to set it up. It's really, really easy. And the options that we have before, during, and after. More importantly, oh my god, you really got like the, the romantic, healing, vibey thing here. I love this read for you. Just remember, if you don't show up, the universe ain't complete. And we need you to show up. So hang in there. Heal. Make your heart's desire happen. Reach out if you need help. I'd be glad to help. Heal. <laughs> Heal. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.